Hello everybody! This is Helpful Heather with my third book review so far. Yay! Today I'm reviewing the Cat Who series, The Cat Who Sang for the Birds by Lillian Jackson Braun. Now this book is the 20th book in her series. And it was a good book. It was okay. It wasn't as exciting as some of her other books. Coco is once again at it with solving mysteries. Jim Quilleran and his sleuth and Siamese cat companions. Now, we didn't see too much of his female companion, Polly, in this story, but that's okay. So, what happened was most of the residents of Pixax are enthralled or excited about this new art museum. And then, but yet some new people into town are not so happy with this um, art museum and some things that are going on. And especially this old homestead across the way where this 90-something-year-old lady lives. So then there's a fire and the poor lady dies, but it ends up being a murder. Da, 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 da. And Coco and Yum Yum are here to save the day and help solve the mystery. And I don't want to give away the ending of who did it, but it was pretty exciting towards the end. But it was a little bit on the slow side, especially in the beginning. But it was full of information about the pickaxe town. And they had this really cool spelling bee where they used a, a baseball game as the spelling bee. So that was kind of exciting. And then, of course, there was corruption and fraud and um, blackmail. So that was pretty exciting in the book. So this is Helpful Heather, and I recommend reading The Cat Who Sang for the Birds. Yay! And I will see you later. Goodbye!